day we woke up by the shore of Lake Sevan near the monastery of Hairavank, a very beautiful place with a nice little grassy and sandy beach. And a naughty puppy. And a naughty puppy, very naughty dead. I didn't like him much, to be honest. Anyway, from there we got two rides. We made it to that city named Gavar or whatever it was named. We had our food, breakfast. Charged. We charged everything as much as we could. Uh, the solar charger is charging their power bank further. We got plenty of food, unfortunately only dry food for the next uh, for the next three or four days. We couldn't find any cooking gas. That's the sad part of the story. And leaving the puppy. Leaving the puppy, okay. <laughs> I think he was happy there. He ha he has his friends. I and then we got a taxi to this little village of Chakasen and we begin hiking up towards the summit of volcano Azdahak. It seems a really beautiful place already. The summit is visible in the background. I think that we'll make it across the mountain in uh, three days three days we we leave a possibility of a fourth one we take it easy no rush if we really wanted to it would be done in two days but I we don't to. really want that sorry you could do it in two well if you really want to yeah but we don't know to we don't want to exhaust ourselves, exhaust ourselves exactly so a new hiking trip in Armenia is just one. about to start. The last one actually after this one will be heading to Yerevan right behind the mountain. We'll get a bus or a lift or whatever we find at the first road we reach to go to Yerevan. Mm -hmm. Then we're heading back to Georgia. Last, last Armenia adventure. <laughs> The first part of the way was very easy. We walked for some three kilometers through the smooth meadows. The weather was great and we reached that chapel of uh, Saint Gevorg or whatever he's called. There is this little church here, an interesting place to build one. I wonder who visits it, when and why, but we are visiting it right now. I'm going to have a little rest over here before we continue. And we continue. Yeah. And then we ran into problems. All streams were bone dry, but luckily we found some people to help us out. Do you want to sit out here? So we have a little problem with water, the stream on the map is completely dry, but luckily there's, uh, there's nice people here, this woman gave us some water to fill up and we'll hopefully find more further up in the lakes, let's see where this is going to. Given the circumstances I had to play safe and fill my water pouch a good deal which added significantly to my weight, especially dangling from my backpack like this. Hi Sophie. Hello. How's it going? Siga, siga. Siga, siga. And after some more three kilometers of steeper ascent, we made it to the lake. Here is our little lake. Luckily there's still water in it. We are camping here for tonight. This is home for tonight. <laughs> Sophie's is going after the cows. Here's the girls. Oh, look the way they just look. It's really funny. Let plenty of bread since we don't have gas. That's what's going to feed us. <laughs> Lavash. Lavash. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's coming over. You didn't probably get this one, but the French word for cow is used for this particular kind of bread in Armenia. Now we can see the summit of Astrahag in the background. Let me clean this a bit. Much better, I reckon. So this is where we are staying for tonight. There are some clouds coming over there. Hopefully there is not going to be rain and uh, lightning. But we'll see. We should be fairly sheltered down there. And that's pretty much it for today. About to have food soon and have some rest. It was a lovely afternoon. We also got visited by a few roaming Yazidis coming back with their cows. Food time. Sophie's feeling a little sick, so I will be eating alone. Six forty AM. The sun is rising. Let's get some water to make some coffee. It's not going to be the cleanest ever, but we'll filter it. And we trust our stomachs. Making some morning coffee. Instant coffee with cold lake water. This water seems to be coming out pretty clean out of the filter. Only was a bit faster at all. <laughs> Exceptionally, today I had my poop before I had my coffee, which means that I can enjoy my coffee at full pace. I'm walking a bit further down here. I need to get direct side of the town. So I get some internet, that's how far the signal comes. Hopefully further up there we're going to get it again. Uh, we should get it from Yerevan when we cross the ridge, whatever there is of a ridge. It's quite an interesting mountain range, basically just a, an agglomeration of volcanoes. So we'll see. But for now, yeah, we'll get some signal over here soon. And we'll check the forecast and see it. Beautiful morning. Good morning, Sophie. And this is our classic bush breakfast. Opening some walnuts with lava stones. If it only stands Let's have all these. Let's have one more bag. Sticky. A few almonds. Some chocolate. Two pairs. The breakfast. Starting on the second day of this trip, we haven't forgotten anything by any chance. 
Shovel it down low. A very pleasant hiking morning. We started with blue skies and didn't have any issues other than a couple of vicious shepherd dogs chasing us. But the weather was soon to change unexpectedly. And of all places it's raining right overhead. <laughs> that doesn't look very good over there. We hope for the best. We are very exposed to lightning over here. We should rather move quickly. Wow, all these fucking clouds start going down over there and go towards the lake, be more sheltered, started, hopefully not for long, looks fairly okay down there, but it didn't stop for a good few hours to come, we got soaked. A nomad Yazidi horse rider, he was looking for mushrooms while his cows grazed. Ruski vanimaju to to da? Ja is Greci, ja na is Angli. Ja Grieg, Hunastan. <laughs> and we continued further up under the bleak sky. Sunshine, a little bit of it at least. Here's the lake, Lake Akna. And after some 8 kilometers since the morning, we are finally making it to our lunch destination. Been fucking freezing over here. <laughs> it's windy, cloudy, and we are slightly wet from the rain before. But the sky looks pretty good over there, although we'll be heading there. But yeah, it's been... It's, it's clearing up, it's clearing up, I'm pretty positive. We need some sunshine urgently. That's the thing, that's what I'm talking about. Now we talk. And off we go, second leg of our trip today. Beautiful lake, I would have loved to camp there, but we had to carry on. Come on, Sophie, you can do it. Good job. Heading straight towards the volcano cone. The dogs. Did they get too close? Wait on them. <laughs> I hope they aren't going to be as bad as the previous one. These separate dogs are a pain in the ass. I usually have some pepper spray especially for them, but I think that wasn't the case on this trip. But this was the last nomad settlement we would encounter until late the following day. Leaving the view of the lake behind, we began going up for good, following this dry stream occupied by these pretty thistle-like flowers. And still no sign of water, we were running low already.
now at last we are getting some proper sunshine one and a half kilometer to go one and a half kilometers to the lake we originally planned to camp if there was any water we see again the summit of Mount Aragat and that's where we are climbing tomorrow uh, if we find water today Here comes the moment of truth. Will there be water or not? We'll find out in a few seconds. Maybe a bit more than seconds. Make it a minute. Yeah, not a fucking drop. That's where we need a new drastic plan. This is the lake bed we are walking over. We are continuing to the following lake on the map. If there wasn't going to be any water there either, we would simply have to quit and head straight down to find some drink. This is what we found for water so far. <laughs> Just for some. We'll take it. We'll try to at least filter has not come in handy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is your bottle of your bottle empty? Yeah, we can empty it. We are seeing a little water down there, a little pond. Let's go there before the cows. <laughs> At last, we are here by the foot of uh, the crater of uh, Stamati Volcano. That's where we are going to plan. We found our water here, which left this little lake. Um, we are currently at approximately 3,200 meters of altitude. So we have around 400 meters to climb in the morning. We may do that. Uh, we should rather start before sunrise, especially yeah. if it's not very cold. But let's start very early anyway. Yeah. Because yeah, we have a long way to go. We are about to go down the other side, direction west. <laughs> and we are about 25 kilometers from the nearest civilization. So yeah, probably we won't do all that tomorrow, but at least we'll go some good part of the way and we we'll find some, uh, some decent uh, water source. More water. <laughs> but uh, on the internet as well, we haven't had any signal all day to day. But I check the forecast in the morning, and so we'll find tomorrow. As fine as it was today, okay, we need some rain, but overall it was not bad. Here we come, good night. Yeah. <laughs> off. We are all settled and snug. We have a little bit of sunshine left. There is a herd of cattle coming over there. The horseman shepherd was somewhere around. I saw him before. Anyway, they are coming to drink. And here we are preparing dinner. So we are having bread, cheese. I'm going to have some tomato sardines, we have this nice sauce, we're going to have some corn, a little bit of pepper for the kick, it's super hot and we keep a little bit for tomorrow too. Tap, 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 tap. A little bit of coriander, we keep the tomato for tomorrow. Let's go. Come on. Some coriander, very nice. And we have, have more, or maybe that was a bit too much. Let's keep a bit more for tomorrow. We we'll have our salad tomorrow for lunch. Okay, 
This will go. Let's have a little bit of onion too, huh? Yeah, if you want it. <coughs> well, I don't know. Let's have some bloody onion. It's good for sleep, you know. Uh, they eat a lot in prisons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not messing. Because they have nothing, nothing much better to do than sleep, yeah? So, they eat as much onion as they can. <laughs> well, if they have that in some prisons, well, in Europe, in Norway they have all sorts, they have internet, they can go out to work if they want. They don't, they were going to be getting a subsidy from the government. They can go to school, they can have a computer, playing video games. But if you are in, say, Venezuela or El Salvador or even the United States, actually, yeah, it must be pretty harsh over there. I think even in the United States. Yeah, they're pretty harsh the harsh prisons in the United States and they have a huge population as well yeah like literally millions of prisoners yeah. hello cows yeah. mm. Mm. move on um, don't, don't step on the tent <laughs> it's fairly drained What are you looking at? No, no, no. Psh, psh, psh. Psh, psh, psh. They're coming too close to sniff. grass. <laughs> We cannot have any grass. Oh, the cow? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. They're going for the charger. They like the charger. I have no fucking clue. Maybe because it's listening. Sun has risen. We should be getting ready slowly. Sophie's already hard at work. <laughs> I'm feeling much better. She's feeling much better today, luckily. So the team is fully powered <laughs> for the long way ahead. Let's start packing. Almost ready. Sophie's washing her knickers. Oh, she's like a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to fill up some water. So this is very likely going to be our last water source for the whole day until late in the evening. But luckily we're going down. We're not going to need much of it. So I think we should do decently enough. All good so far? Yep. Oh, Let go. Ready to go. Let's do it. Yes. <coughs> and so began the third day of this trip. The plan is to go to the foot of the crater, leave our stuff there and climb up light. Luckily an excellent day weather-wise to do this. Okay, this is where we leave our stuff. To have an easy burdenless climb to the top, we have another 300 meters to ascend. And uh, yeah, we'll be at the top of Mount Asdahak at 3600 meters AMSL. 
not in the world, but yeah. this ma <laughs> this mountain range at least. It's a good step. <laughs> and now we go oh, we step go. after step. Yeah. Locomotion. Babes at the beach. <laughs> this sunglasses. Nice color. Yeah. Everywhere. Almost there, 200 meters mm -hmm. distance, mm -hmm. and less than uh, 50 meters to climb the shore. Right behind the pearl view. I can see that stick again, that yeah, pole. That's the, that's the pole. That's the top. Oh wow. Oh look at him, babe. Oh my god. Is it not a vulture? It's massive. I see some bubbles forming. Well, <laughs> it's gonna erupt. <sighs> Look at that bed. Come back. And this is the top of Azdahak Volcano, third highest summit in Armenia. We climbed the first one already, which is Mount Aragat, and we were planning to also do the second one, going by the name of Cap Tujug or something like that. But that was right on the Azeri border, the area was militarized, and we couldn't do that. But this was an absolutely delightful trekking adventure one of uh, the highlights of our trip in Armenia, no doubt. And down we go again, heading to civilization. Getting ready to shoulder these motherfuckers again and start striding. The way down the west side of the mountain was very long but rather smooth and easy. A rain cloud seemed to be chasing us for the entire way but it luckily never reached us. nice big mushroom but she doesn't like it because it's patterned mm. you make them nevertheless make them yeah any anyway anyway you don't stop look at it sort of like self self compulsion looks like it's it looks like, it looks like it's just being um singed on the top with fire <laughs> what they do like meringues
and here again we can see the first uh, Yazidi settlement in the distance on the slope of the mountain. Our way passed close from one of them and they of course invited us in. We wouldn't live for two full hours getting drunk on vodka and stuff. <laughs> Привет. Сейчас попьем, покусаем. Видео снимает. Камера. Камера, да? Top is having fun with the ship. Seems they are lined up to exit <laughs> dinner time. Uh, now they are coming out. The dogs. Mm -hmm. Go! Go! go. They are that excited, huh? <laughs> I was expecting something more of a rush. <laughs> are they goats? Sheep. Over there? Where? Like where they're all heading to? Oh yeah, there are, there are a few goats. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that. Mixed. Oh, the dust. I want to stroke one. <laughs> Make you move. Let me pet you, let me pet you, let me pet you. Let me pet you, let me pet you. Let me pet you. Pet this one, sorry, pet this one. <laughs> what? Yeah, this brown one, this brown one. <laughs> You're coming in the middle of their way, baby. Okay? You're coming in the middle of their way. Go, go, go! Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't plan to stay here for two hours, but it was yeah, very fun indeed. This is a Yazidi family uh, over summer in here in the mountains. We are quite drunk as well. We've had plain of vodka and Sophie had beer. That's much better. And uh, we had even some food, even though yeah, yeah, it was all over that yogurt. That's Vidania. So yeah, we are a bit late, but that was more or less, that guy was particularly insistent about us coming to overnight at his place, but we explained to him that we should rather continue and uh, go near the village overnight there and get a bus to the capital tomorrow morning at some decent time. So we continue, you can see the lake far down where we are going to. It looks too square, too geometrical. It's probably a reservoir of that town over there, which means the water should be fairly clean if it's a drinking reservoir, which it should be. In reality, I was seeing a solar farm. There was no bloody lake, at least uh, in fact, it was on the map, but it was bone dry again. Hey. This should be the bloody lake again, <laughs> but there is no lake. Uh, there is no lake. On we go. Some streaming water there streams out of a pipe, 
and apparently this must be a hydroelectric power station but the water should be nice and fresh enough coming straight out of the ground over here uh, yeah it's uh, quite a nice place just uh, one kilometer before the village and maybe three before the town once we get the bus tomorrow to Yerevan so this is where we are camping for tonight enough walking hello horse Come here. Oh, look at the foal. Two of them. And this is the end of this trip pretty much. We walk up on this lovely little spot. We can see Mount Ararat in the distance, though very blurrily, it was slightly clearer earlier in the morning. And now we have two air balloons flying over there, it was quite a surprise. I just popped my head out of the tent and saw them. Quite interesting, didn't expect that. So we should be slowly getting ready and get out of here.